Hello everybody, and today we finally got the long-awaited Gen 8 announcement trailer in the Pokemon Direct we had today. I wasn't able to do a live reaction of it today because I watched it during school, but I'll doing, I will be doing an analysis of it. I haven't seen bring, anyone bring up most of the points I'll bring up in this video. I mean, a lot of the things I'll be stating is obvious, but one of the things, really crucial, which I have not seen anyone talk about, and it shocked my friend when I said it, is, um, well, you'll see in the video. But this direct starts off as pretty cool, you know? Um, right off the bat, look at this scenery. It is absolutely beautiful. There is so much detail in it. There's even Pokemon in the sky. You know, there's an upside-down wheelbarrow. There is a lot of detail in this. Um, you can even see that the this is clearly Route 1. Like, you can tell by this sign, which is actually really cool, because they put a lot of detail into this, the sign. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but this looks like the ones that you usually see in England. I'm not 100% sure on that one. If it is, I'll post a, a picture of it on screen. If you didn't know, it's UK-based. Um, you can even tell by the sign, this is Route 1, and it looks to be the ones they use in England. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, a good point to bring up is I'm not 100% sure if this is UK or England-based. Uh, the map really, it kind of helps, but, the, you know, if you look at the map, you can really fight or vouch for either side. But yeah, you see there's a Pokemon Center, you see these types of buildings. This is clearly in England. But yeah. When I first saw this, actually, and this is just, I thought this was Kalos Remix, I was like, no. I was like, yeah, Kalos was a great game, but really? Just because, you know. But it's a really cute little thing. This is obviously used to determine wind direction, as the Torchic, or <laughs> the Fletchling, will be pointing, you know, in the direction. Another really good thing to bring up is, you see this? I'll bring this up again. This is a gym, in case anyone's curious. You can tell by its structure, and just, like, you can see there's the elemental, you know. Uh, also, try to remember this logo. You might forget it, but it's alright, because it's a low-quality photo. But yeah, you see, again, lots of little stones around. This shows that this is a advanced, but also old. The house, again, tons of detail. Look at all of this. There's leaves. It's just beautiful. It kind of reminds me of The Hobbit a little bit. If you guys have ever watched that. Then look at the freaking male trainers to start off. This is something we've never seen. The trainer is actually like not like super cartoonish. This is actually somewhat realistic. I mean obviously it's not perfectly, but you can tell by their height compared to the TV that this is actually like a proper height for somebody. They're not like two or three feet. I mean the room isn't the most detailed, but I really can't blame them. You're not gonna spend much time in your room. The girl model is the same thing. You can see she's almost the height of the door, which is pretty realistic. I mean, yeah, and the door looks like this is a legitimate size. Like, everything doesn't feel scaled down or some things don't. This feels everything is proper size. Really interesting. There's actually animations for, like, you know, like, look at that. There's a lot of detail in just the animation of walking down steps. More scenery. As you saw, there was a little bit of a forest. I kind of didn't pause in time. Sorry. Alright, so again, this looks like it's a the trainer school. I mean, it looks a little run down, and there's a thing there. Look at this. Ominous Forest. That looks really, really cool. It gives me a lot of, like, reminders of Viridian. You can see this. Um, a little image of what appears to be their version of Big Ben, or Queen Elizabeth Tower. Kalos had the Eiffel Tower, but as a gym. And again, I will bring that up in a moment. You can see this, I think, is a train. It doesn't look like a bus. And we have seen a lot of railroad tracks, which is actually a really cool hint because England was one of the first countries in the world going through the Industrial Revolution. And this looks so much like that. I mean, look, you've got the oil mines, you've got the uh, factory clouds, you have the railroads. And again, better look at the gym, all right? You, you obviously, you're gonna have to remember this and you'll be like confused in a bit, but yeah. Uh, again, another look at the city. This is a very, I, this is a very common l image. Like, if you look at the Industrial Revolution, a lot of images look like this, with like water, a bridge going over the water. Since I, th I believe London's got a lot of rivers in it. Uh, not 100% sure, but yeah. Little advertisements there. A snowy region. 
obviously as you can tell this is back to that place earlier but this just shows like you're looking at the scenery I mean a lot of these things do look like in low poly but I cannot blame them I mean look at the amount of detail on this this is one huge thing this is not only revealing that you can sneak around, like there's a walking animation for slowly moving, which could be helpful in some instances, if, I don't know. Because I believe that was something you could do with Dex now, it was sneaking around. But this, Pokemon are no longer overworld, so they didn't take that from Let's Go. It was just, you have to go into the grass to encounter them, which is a really good thing, because that was one of the huge lag issues when you went for shiny hunting. Um, but yeah, look at that model. I can't exactly tell if it's a brand new one, but you can definitely tell without the black lining around it, it looks so much better. And look at this, look at this. Look. That was such a clean little animation. It didn't feel forced or anything. That was catching. And you can see they kept, I believe that that is the one they used in Sun and Moon. But yeah, this is also similar to Sun and Moon. The uh, It appears that the trainer's view is really narrow, and if you're approaching one, you'll have a, like, you know, thing around you. I can't confirm that, but that's what it appears. Again, back to this building. I'm pretty sure it's the trainer school. It seems to have a big emphasis, but I can't, I could be wrong here. Could be the lab for all we know. But yeah, there's actual battle, like, things, animations for other trainers. And this, this. Look at this. This is a beautiful fighting arena. I will get into this in a moment. Um, right there. Oop, my bad. Alright, here. A lot of people were thinking that's Pokemon following you. I don't think that's the case. It looks like it's the house Pokemon. Usually your parent has a Pokemon in the house, but that's what that appears to be since no Pokemon is following you throughout the trailer. But one really, really small nice detail is look at this. These are different flags. Um, one of the topics, since the, obviously you know the names is S.H.I.E.L.D., is the uh, family crests. This gives me the impression that there's a little bit of a division, as they're, they're di they appear to be different crests. you got the crown, the castle, I think that's a gear, and a flower. Uh, don't really know what those mean right now, if they have any meaning right now, but, you know, there could be, like, that, like, sense of, like, there's, like, different spreads into the houses, kind of like Harry Potter. Um, look at this. This is, is probably something relating to a gym, or it could be their own version of a cave, but it's beautiful. I mean, the lighting, the, or, the you know, the gems glowing, the rails. This, I don't know much about. This is really weird. I'm assuming this has to do something with the legendary. I, as you can tell, there seems to be people all around this one giant thing with shocks of electricity surrounding this what appears to be ghost symbol or psychic uh, or fairy even this doesn't drastically resemble but this could be the legendary um, and maybe this is an emphasis on what type it is maybe it's electric psychic I don't know what this symbol usually means it could be fairy even I think that's the more of the fairy design and I mean psychic design and let's go so you know this could be electric psychic you know if I had to guess, the legendaries are going to be steel, because swords and shields are typically made out of steel. But yeah, another look at the castle. You can't really get a better view at the other one that I think is a gear. But yeah, this is awesome. Look, you're in a library here. This is the lab. I'm assuming, like, you know, like the professor's lab. Judging by the books, the lab equipment, you know, you can see. If I had to guess, this is the professor's lab. Um, again, out here, which is what made me think this might be the professor's lab. It feels a little too run down, but I could be mistaken, you know. There's a huge emphasis on this place, and a trainer school usually doesn't have this much emphasis. Now this, this, you remember this logo, all right? This, people were thinking this is sporting. This is the exact same logo you saw outside, and this is the exact same arena you saw earlier that I said to remember with Lucario and Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Look at that. So, now we have the starters. So that was like the general trailer of the game, all right? Those areas with the grass fields are the gyms, all right? And uh, I don't want to get into too much because I want to explain it later, but yeah. We start off here. Again, more industrial. I believe this is an oil digger and the Big Ben. Huge emphasis on Big Ben a lot. We've seen it almost in every single frame. 
But yeah. The music by itself is really cool. And then you can see the starter. I mean, you can't get a great view of it. Obviously, you're going to get a better view. So if you haven't watched it, don't, don't worry. But geez, I thought this was an electric type at first because it was running on it. And I thought that was electricity. But look at this. I know this isn't gameplay footage, but it shows that they actually put a lot of effort into this. And look how cute this thing is. It look It's such a cute little bunny. Or rabbit. And look at it. It kind of reminds me of, like, Bugs Bunny in a way. And yeah. Obviously, you can tell by that that's fire. And then here, you get the water type. Which is a really unique thing. Is This appears to be... Oh, well, it's invisible. So it gives me the impure... It said, I believe, at the end of the trailer, it was a lizard. I think it's more of a chameleon, since chameleons can, you know, change their color and become transparent. So this could be a really interesting Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to try to make a final prediction on their types by the end of the video. But yeah, I just want you guys to keep that in mind. I mean, look at this. Judging by the way it moves and all that, it's, you know, body structure... You get the, it's, it's, it's clearly like very chameleon-like. And then you have the grass starter, obviously, which you can tell. I mean, look at it. This thing is also adorable. They all look good. I mean, obviously people are having doubts, but you always have doubts when you have new Pokemon. I mean, hell, so many people thought Meltan was ugly. I thought it was, and now I think it's absolutely adorable. You just gotta let it set in because you're expecting it to be the same thing as we already have. And it's not gonna be, it's new. But trust me, they are really cute. Like, I was really doubting them when I first saw them, but I'm like, you know what, I have to accept them, because honestly, no matter what I think, they're gonna be starters, and I think this is gonna be a really good gen. So yeah. Pokemon Sword, and Pokemon Shield. So, going back to the idea of family crests here, you can tell that a design and sword being a slash. Um... It's very hard, and a lot of weird things you get from these names. The only thing I can draw from it is since it's England, and England was, you know, very medieval, like, you know, medieval times type, and King Arthur, they're gaming for something more like that. And I was originally thinking, why isn't it Sword in the Stone if it's England, you know? That is, like, one of the most common myths that has out there. Like, I just don't get how that's just not, you know? But yeah, you can hear there's a large, large clapping audience in the background. And then obviously, I don't, I'm not skipping over it because what they're saying is unimportant. It is very important, but I don't want to narrate what they're saying as they're literally saying it for you. But here, this is where I want to go to. Oh, I didn't mean to exit. Of these games is known as the gallery. And Pokemon Sheep. The setting of these games is known... Here, we go. Alright, now, if you look on the map, it looks like a pretty solid map. It, you're guessing I'm start, you're starting over here, judging by that building appearing to be what would look like the lab. I mean, this could be the same thing, it's really hard to tell. But one of these two is, if I had to take a guess, it's probably this one. It's actually this one. I know it now, because there's the lake. So, obviously, these, these buildings do stand out because they're different colored, but yeah. This is that area with the rundown just by the lake. Uh, I don't know how important it is, but I want to point out one really crucial thing. Um, there's stadiums. A lot of people were thinking this is soccer because it's England, and, you know, soccer is a big part of the culture. But, I thought about this idea. I looked at it, and I'm like, you know, there's a lot of stadiums. Like, yes, England has a lot of stadiums. You know, soccer is a huge part of their culture, you know. But if you count them, there's one right here. I, you can't see them really well right now. I probably put numbers on the screen. But I'll go into it more depth later. But just to start it off briefly, you have one over here, one over here, one over here, here, here. I believe it's right there. It's hard to tell up here, and up here, and down here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I missed one, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm guessing this is it, judging by the fact that it's very similar in size to all the other ones, and it's just so random that there's just a circle. 
And now, now that we have a much closer view, this is why I was kind of thinking earlier that maybe it's not the lab. I mean, this looks pretty similar with that like greenhouse you saw on the windows, but I mean, it could really be either of these. I can't tell. I mean, hell, it could probably be this. But this looks like the train station. I really doubt they're going to make the train station multi-purpose. Um, this is our, clearly our house. You can tell this is probably our rival's house. And then this is probably the first town. So, yeah. More emphasis on the rail yeah, railroad. <laughs> and stop. We're right around here. Right here. Sorry. I had a little min miniature, miniature brain fart there. Right here, there's a stadium right in front of Big Ben, which is the exact same thing we had in Kalos with the Eiffel Tower, obviously a France based region. Eiffel Tower is Lumisone City's obviously main thing. And that's, there's a gym in there. So that's really cool. Uh, I don't really know what this is. I mean, a lot of these buildings don't make too much sense on what they could be. They obviously are going to have a purpose. I don't think they would have drawn them on. But yeah. And pause. Again, stadium, stadium. These are literally, these have to be the gyms. They're spaced apart like gyms would be. And if they're not gyms, what, what are they, you know? They are literally huge parts of these little towns. This is where that, that thing is. It's, again, clear emphasis. They didn't really draw in the people that much, but they clearly drew in this guy or thing and this electric and psychic looking. Um... Here looks a lot like Stone Edge, Stonehenge. You can tell it. I mean, it's a little bit of a pull, but you can tell by that that it kind of looks similar. Um, the reason I said this was a gym, like it doesn't fit any of the other stadiums, but this just feels like this is such a secluded area. It would make sense there would be a gym here, right? And this is got the same exact design as them, but just smaller. I mean, there's smaller stadiums. Maybe this is a this looks to be dragon, so maybe this is focused more on aerial combat, so the gym's smaller, since you need height rather than length. And that'd be a really cool type of gym if, you know, the Pokemon were constantly moving up and down. Obviously, I don't think they're going to go into that much detail, but yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this gym. It's right here. This is the water-ish gym. There's a lighthouse. Probably going to be the water type. I can't really take a guess here. This would probably be ground or rock, since it's in the mountains. Uh, the mine, I think, is right here, but I could be wrong. Um, there's the ice-type gym, which is really cool, as, you know, the ice-types have usually been secluded for most of the game, and they're usually later stages of the game, which really sucks, since there you have a lot of weaknesses. This, I don't recall seeing, but it's, there's a shield there, in case you guys couldn't tell. And there's that gear symbol I think I was th seeing before. So, you know, maybe... If I had to take a guess, this represents sword, this represents shield. Just like, you know, the significant area here is sword and shield, and maybe the game path... Oh, I scrolled down like the map was going to move. That maybe your path will change depending on what game you do. Like, maybe if you do shield, your path will take you through the mountains here and bring you over here. You'll take on this gym, and then you'll learn about this. And if it's the other one, maybe you'll go up and around and go to this gym. I don't know. This is my just speculation. If it's wrong, you cannot blame me. Um, this, again, it's like... Uh, it's really like more of a hit or miss because I've only counted seven. It could be just that it's not very visible or it's covered by clouds. As you can see, there are a lot of clouds covering certain areas. I don't know if that means anything, that they're hiding something. But look at this. These are giant mushrooms. We didn't see this, but there are going to be giant mushrooms. It feels really cool since I feel like most of these like hobbits... And Harry Potter movies are based in England, so they're taking part of that culture and putting it in. And honestly, that's going to be really cool to explore, like, a really, you know, foresty and weird island. Not island. Um, area. So, again, this also could be the champion, uh, the Elite Four and stuff. I'm not sure if it's right in the center or at the very top. I mean, it really could be anywhere, since in some games it's right, in, like, you've passed by it multiple times, like, in... Let's go, Eevee, you pass by the gym at the very beginning. Like, your the eighth gym is the first gym you see, and in the, you know, Big Three Roads there, it's a giant circle. Could be like that, where, you know, this is it, and that could make sense why there's, like, a crown up here. Or, what I'm thinking more likely, 
is that this is the royal family. I mean, maybe the king is the champion, but I would, I don't know. But, you know, the royal crown up there could symbolize this is where the king lives, you know, or the queen, as British royalty is a huge part of England's history. And you still go up. One thing that interested me is they didn't show a lot of emphasis on the city up here. Um, it fades away very quickly, and the name covers most of it. There is this ginormous tower up here, which is what I'm thinking is, like, you know, the Elite Four, right? You would enter in here, kind of looks like a Triforce, you know, and then there's the, you know, the Elite Four, and then it brings you up to a giant S elevator, and that is the champion. Um, there's also another clock, which could also be the one that represents Big Ben. I mean, there was one down there, and there's also one up here. This! This looks like one of those Pokemon contest things. Um, this also kind of remi reminds me of, like, the... I think, I forgot what it's called. Shoot. Uh, if, I'll put it on screen. I don't remember what it's called. But this kind of reminds me of that general type of area. You know, with there's, like, there's the different paths you can go on. You know, there's the Ferris wheel. This represents... This could also be a gym. I mean, it has a similar coloring, which could make it a gym. This also could be some one of those beauty pageant things. And if that's the gym, the odds are that either this or this isn't gym, since these are the only two that don't fit in. But the odds are, if the Elite Four is here, then this is probably not a gym, and vice versa. If this is the Elite Four, this is probably not a gym. But I have to say, this looks way more like a gym than this or this. I mean, for all we know, this is where you find the legendary. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. But, yeah. Oh my god. Ah, okay, I can't get out of it. Alright. We'll just have to continue. There's a few other small islands. I mean, this is the only one that appears to have significance, as they're all just kind of bland, flat ones. This one actually has trees. Don't know if it means anything. But, yeah. They're showing us the same... Uh, you can't probably hear me over him. But it shows you generally the same things we saw in the trailer. Alright. The chimp Pokemon, Grookey. The Chimp, Grookey. So, you know, um, if I had to guess, it's going to end up, obviously, more... They have a tendency to change species when they evolve. Like, usually, you know, for example, Totodile is a crocodile and an alligator at one point. So, yeah. Also, one other thing I want to point out is its nose makes a smiley face. Its nose and mouth. I mean, look. That's a smiley face. So it probably might end up more, if I had to guess, like a... A gorilla. I mean, I know that's really weird as it's chimpanzee, but it would it could make sense. You have a grass type gorilla that could be grass fighting, <clears throat> which is as far as I can tell we don't have, or if we do, oh we do it's like reloom, but yeah I think this is a really good idea. Pokemon is full of boundless curiosity. The rabbit then you have score bunny, which, is... which obviously you get the score from for scoring like. Fire. Um, I can't really tell what this would evolve into as it's a bunny. I mean, I don't think that they're gonna do what they did with, like, Bunnelby or Berneary, as they both kind of have that, like, they don't have a third evolution. So this could be maybe a, just look more of, like, a bigger <laughs> bunny. You know, I, I don't know what else. I mean, I guess the previous one also could have ended up more of a chimpanzee, but this might end up, obviously, as a... How would I say... I don't want to say, like, the Easter Bunny, but, like, I don't know. I really don't know how this would end up as in a fire type, like a fire bunny. So, yeah. I really have no clue. I don't want to say it to be weak, but this might be, like, a fire normal type, you know? This doesn't give me the impression of it being fighting, which is a good thing. I mean, granted, I don't think you can get that from a Tepig or a Torchic, but seeing how this evolves, it might just become a fire normal, which is one of the, I don't, I believe a lot of normal types don't have, you know, like, with normal, like, it's fire, I don't think fire normal is a type that's been used yet, but that's what I'm thinking will come from this. Uh, I can't be 100% certain, but it probably, if it would change, if it's not going to be fire normal and evolves into something different, it might I, I really don't have any idea with this. It feels like it can really go anywhere. About bursting with energy. And the water lizard Pokemon Sobble. It's a bit Yes, they said water lizard and it's called Sobble. Um I don't know where they're getting this Sobble. I mean I'm guessing it's a mixture of something in bubble, like salamander and bubble. 
but that's like a huge, huge, like just guess. Obviously, I think the bubble part has to do with bubble, but the S-O. Um, as you can tell, it kind of looks like a chameleon. So I could see this becoming more of like a water reptile looking Pokemon, like, again, maybe a chameleon or salamander, you know, but like giant and, you know, obviously a water type. Uh, if I had a guess, like, the reptile part is kind of weird. It might be a water dragon from what I would be getting, as dragon is the closest we get to reptiles. Like, a lot of reptile-ish Pokemon end up becoming dragon. So a water dragon would be really cool to see from the starter. Um, I don't think it would do that, though. But, yeah. A water dragon is what I'm predicting from this, just going off of what I currently know. I mean, if this is completely wrong, and, like, you're watching this two months later, and, like, they have all the info, like, don't say, like, you're an idiot, this is all wrong. I'm just taking a guess off of what I see and what they've said. Um, it's really up to them on how they're going to go up about this. Well, I mean, they've already done it, but, you know. I'm just making pure speculation here. I mean, I don't really see this turning into something like a water fighting. I mean, it's it starts off as pretty timid, as they said, which isn't exactly that it gives me the impression it's going to come big and fighting. It seems like more of a Pokemon like Greninja that's going to... Not be Greninja. Uh, blanking on its name, but it would stay more out of conflict. And, yeah. It would be powerful that way if it does get into it, but it doesn't like to use its power. That's what I'd have to guess. So, Water Dragon would be really good at the end of the video. I didn't want to say exactly what I thought it was, because if it was it, then it might ruin what you guys were thinking. But, yeah, I will show you in a bit. ourselves to try new things while still treasuring what makes Pokemon special. So we hope you'll all be looking forward to the adventures awaiting you in the Gala region. Why? So, yeah, we have the release date here, you know, releasing worldwide in late 2019. I mean, if anyone's like, oh god, that's December, it could be, but late 2019 usually means farther than the halfway point, which would be around June. That would be middle. All right, and if you were to say late, you could even say this could even come out as soon as October, like September, October, November is really the late. I feel like this December is just not the time to release a Pokemon game. I mean, they have a tradition to release them around the November, October time. I mean, X and Y was released way earlier than like Sun and Moon was. I mean, I remember playing X and Y really earlier, but. You know, they have a higher tendency to come out in the November time range, which is, I feel like, more of like one of those things because it helps with sales because of Black Friday. Like, it's way closer. So that's what I would have to guess. I mean, even Let's Go came out, like, a week before. We've got plenty in the works for the Pokemon. But, yeah. I want to go back to that scene with the flags to bring up my last point. Here. No. Did I go too far? Not far enough. Look. Alright. So, let's keep in mind. Royalty, castle, gear, flower. Okay? Like, crown, castle, gear, tower. Alright. No, I went t too far. Setting of these here, all right, castle, you know, royalty, which is the crown, gear, and flower. I mean, that's a really long shot, but it could be that the nation or region is kind of split into four parts, you know, like, kind of in a more rivalry way, as in, like, England, not England, uh, yes, England, actually, sorry, um, like the soccer teams, for example. It kind of splits the nation in parts when you think about it. Like, there's a... They don't... Obviously, it's not split by northern and southern teams, but, you know. This could be, like, one of those things, like, you see in... I'd say Canada, where they're a little less all united as a country. Like, in the end, they are. But they kind of feel more of their, like, individual. Like, Quebec, you know, feels more of its own. than you know, they consider themselves citizens of Quebec compared to Canada, I believe. I mean, I could be wrong... I'm not the best with other countries, you know, systems, but, yeah. 
he doesn't seem to agree with me, judging by his face. So maybe I'm completely off. It's all speculation. We really had like a two minute trailer and then a little trailer for starters. Um, I'm expecting to see more at E3, but until then I don't expect this to have anything big Pokemon wise. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this little analysis video. It's kind of funny that I went on for so long, even though the trailer, the video itself is seven minutes. So, yeah. There's a lot of different things that could come about, and I hope my predictions come true, because this sounds like a really fun game. I hope you guys did enjoy, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I would be really glad to read your comments on what you think is, you know, the game is going to be about, because, I mean, it's all speculation, and honestly, I would love to have new ideas, because I plan on, after getting our next information, discussing more on what I think about the game. So that's all I have. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!